and a ramp. And a pretty well struck ramp too, just a couple of bounces and over it goes. Yeah, I remember most of the shots from that game, only because I came in with about four or five overs to go and my first five or six balls were awful, like genuinely awful. I, I swung and missed it one off Ishant, tried to hit him over square leg for six and it missed my pad and hit me on the top of the kneecap. It's off the, the pad and just stayed on the crease line as the single. Oh no, it's hit him, I see what's happened there. It's obviously gone above the pad flap and got him right above the knee. Oh yeah, that's that's why he's uh, hobbling. I said to him, like, I can't run so I've just got to try and hit boundaries here. Like, I sort of hobbled at the other end and um, got away a couple of boundaries and made sure I had the strike for the last over and um, and just decided to take his shan on and try and hit it wherever it, fielders weren't and he kept changing the field so I kept changing where I tried to hit it. Then he gets a full toss that he likes and that's gone too. Brilliant stuff. But yeah, I remember getting a reverse sweep away off him which, which felt pretty good. Oh! I was hoping he was going to bowl a slow ball and as soon as it was fast I, I just had to throw my hands through it as quick as I could and just caught up to it one bounce for it Campbell which was pretty pretty cool. That is unbelievable. I got lucky. Oh got that nicely all the way. He's injured out there he's hobbling around probably a badly bruised upper knee we think still playing all sorts of improvised shots. Just you, have to, you just have to react and, um, and just try and hit it and that's, that's why I do all my practice and um, why I'm able to do it. This is extraordinary what he's able to do, Glenn Maxwell. There it is, Tuck. Over the top of mid-off. Has he got enough on it? Yes, he has. 